Are you ready for the ultimate test of speed and precision? Today, we're launching our first competition where you can win 1,000 US dollars to spend in our web shop. So the challenge? Well, it's plain and simple. Set up a moto tent as fast as you can. But now you might be thinking, but hey Alex, I don't even own a moto tent. How am I supposed to participate? Don't worry, we got you covered. This time we have an exclusive offer for you guys. If you order a moto tent before Monday the 22nd of April, we'll offer one awning kit free of charge when you use the code SPEEDCHALLENGE at checkout. But regardless of this competition, investing in a new tent for the upcoming moto season is a great way to get out there and spend more nights under the stars. So with that said, let's have a look at the rules. A timer must be clearly visible throughout the whole setup process. You must start the timer before you open the tent bag. And the timer must not be stopped until the motor tent is fully set up with all doors closed. You must film your setup from start to finish in one continuous clip. Cuts or change of camera angles are prohibited. It is allowed to speed up the video by maximum 5 times the original playback speed, but only after the timer is started and before the timer is stopped. You must set up the motor tent alone. No help is in any way allowed. The four guy ropes on the short sides must be tensioned and the fly sheet cannot have any slack. You decide for yourself how many of the ground pegs to use. The ground sheet can be skipped. The video must be uploaded to YouTube and set to public. You must use the hashtag Mototent Speed Challenge in the description. Videos that are unlisted or private will be disqualified. So let me show you how you can shave off some precious seconds when setting up the motor tent. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you're on grass and not on gravel. And that's because it's much easier to put the ground pegs in and get a good grip. Uh, and it's also super, super important that it's dry outside and not rainy or damp. Because if it's rainy, it's, it's going to be more friction between the tent poles and the fly sheet. So once you have a dry location and everything, let's have a look at how we set up the tent. So we start with undoing the straps on the bag, open the top, turn everything around and get the whole tent up like so. Take the, the bag for the ground pegs, you open it and then you put it in either your leg pocket or your hip pocket depending on what you have for pants. This way now it's going to be super fast to access the ground pegs. Now, second part, ground sheet, we don't need that because that's not included in this competition, so we can throw that aside. We have the uh, poles, we can take those out and sort them. You're gonna have one black set of poles and two red. Now, we open up the tent. And then you want to make sure that the black side, which is the, the actual sleeping area, that one is facing upwards because that one is smaller compared to the red sides. So you pull the tent out, you stretch it out so it's nice and flat on the ground, like so. Now we have the black, the red and the second red. What we're going to do, we're going to start up with a bottom, uh, bottom hole here. And then we're going to assemble the poles as we're inserting them into the, to the tent. And then what you can do if you get stuck up here, you just reach out and then you pull slightly and work the, the pole inside the fly sheet. 
And then we repeat the process with the second pole. Same thing here. Assemble the first part, insert it, and then you assemble the pole as you go. And finally we have the black poles. So now, second part is to take two ground pegs, then you have these straps and you insert the ground peg into the hole, like so. You jam it into the ground. You take the second one over here, same thing. Insert it like so, and then you wanna have a uh, decent stretch between the two poles, so it's not slacking. Take this part, and then you flip the whole tent over, like so. You grab this part, and then you just walk with the whole tent, just like this. And it's the same thing on this side. Grab a tent peg, you insert it like so push it down we might have be able uh, have to adjust the the position of everything now to just get a decent stretch on the whole tent we go and have a look so so far so good And then we'll take the, the guy ropes. And then if you just want to use one ground peg for this, it's okay. And it's important to make sure that these are nice and stretched. And then we do the same thing on the opposite side with the guy ropes. Take them together, and we take our final ground peg that is necessary for this setup, and start it into the ground. Make sure they are nice and tight, and that's it. So you can see we have no slack here, and we have no slack on this part either. So this is a fully approved way to set up the motor tent. So ready to take on the challenge? Simply film your setup, upload it to YouTube, and submit your link using the form on our website no later than April 30th. On Friday the 3rd of May, we are announcing our three winning submissions and presenting them on our social media channels. So, as always guys, good luck and may the three fastest setups win!